when you commenced practice, I believe uh, that you did have a lot of work appearing for defendants in tenancy cases and petty sessions. And I'm interested that uh, uh, you write here that uh, the fees for the public solicitor briefs were paid by the Housing Commission and that your instructions, you, the, the, the lawyer, was that under no circumstances were you to consent to an order for possession. But then it goes on to say the, the Housing Commission paid so as to minimise the number of disadvantaged tenants requiring emergency accommodation. And that was apparently your first introduction to conflicts of interest. Yes, yes, certainly. Mm. An uncomfortable position for you Very. at that time? Well, mm. Uh, yes, I, I, I even recognised I recognised the uncomfortableness of it at that time. Uh, I mean, you would you would find a tenant who was their, dw their dwelling was quite unsuitable. It was it was uh, uh, it would be in a shocking state of repair. Um, might be unsuitable uh, in its geographical situation. Might not be big enough, or or might be too big for in the circumstances. Uh, but to keep that tenant off the Housing Commission's waiting list so that it could uh, uh, pr uh, present uh, a picture, a bit like the hospitals do now by adjusting their, their, waiting, their waiting lists. Um, uh, one uh, one had, was not allowed to consent to an order. 